Hey guys, welcome back. So today I got a very special unboxing because today we're gonna to be opening up this General Grievous mask um, that's only sold at Disney parks. Um, I went last week to go check out the new store, the new little Star Wars store that they have outside. And I saw this and I had seen it before inside of um, Star Wars land, but I just kind of always passed it up and then it was sold out for a while. So I saw it, it was in stock. I couldn't leave home without it. So today, we're gonna open it up, take a look at it, and um, let's take a look. So here it is, guys. Now this thing is only sold at Disney parks, um, and generally it'd only be sold inside of Star Wars Land. But right now they're opening up these new stores at the like downtown Disneyland. Where they offer this product now it's 325 dollars but if you have a annual pass or an old annual pass they'll actually give you a discount and um, i actually got 30 percent off on this so i was really happy now this thing is actually really heavy um, for being a replica it's about maybe 25 to 30 pounds definitely one of the heavier replicas i own um, it looks like it's made of some type of polystone, so that's probably where the weight comes from. But this thing looks beautiful. I mean, it the detail is insane. Uh, it really looks like maybe like an like animal bone or something. But I really like the fact that you know they they went towards um, kind of just the mask look, right? It's an empty mask, uh, which kind of gives it more of a I don't know like a skeleton feel to it uh, as opposed to the sideshow collectibles bust right that has the eyes sculpted in and kind of just you could see other parts of it in the sideshow bust and so this one's more of just a plain mask kind of just like I don't know like a, a remnants of, of his old skeleton it's really cool uh, I didn't expect to like it as much as I do especially because I'm not a big fan of the prequels. Um, and I really didn't expect much for $300, right? And actually I ended up paying a little bit above $200. So I didn't really expect to be blown away, but this thing is so underpriced, guys. I mean, they could easily sell this for seven, $800. And I would have happily paid that actually now looking at it. The weight is amazing. I mean, it really feels real because of the weight the weathering, the detail, it just, I'm blown away, guys. If anybody is near the Disney parks, you need to go out and get one of these ASAP because um, they do sell out really quick. So if, if you don't pick one up, you never know when they're going to get them back in stock. And since they're exclusively sold at the Disney parks, it's, you know, I'm sure they're only going to be making a, a limited amount of these. And I don't expect these to be around for a very long time. Uh, like I said, on under here, obviously, it tells you it's not a toy. It's decorative. But guys, this thing is amazing. I'm, I'm just, I'm speechless. I, I really don't know what else to say. This thing is beautiful. Uh, but there it is, guys. Go out, get yourself one of these ASAP. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, like and subscribe. And also subscribe to my newest channel, Collection Wars, where me and my buddy Michael are going to sit down weekly every Saturday and talk to other collectors, some industry insiders, and talk Star Wars every week. You don't want to miss it. I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks, guys.